What a wonderful world. As the famous 1967 Louis Armstrong song goes, used in movies and in television commercials for the simple reason that, yes, it is a wonderful world. And that song captures the magic of our planet in all its glory. So much of our planet is unexplored, and Mother Nature still has much to reveal. Beautiful, unpredictable, and dangerous, and always entertaining. You're not gonna need a passport for this journey, but we can't guarantee it won't be a bumpy ride. Let's go! 15 Magical Places You Won't Believe Actually Exist Sunken City of Dwarka in India When lost cities are concerned, the most talked about would be the ancient city of Dwarka. In its prime, it had 900,000 royal palaces made with crystal and silver and decorated with emeralds connected by an elaborate system of boulevards, roads, marketplaces, and temples. How did it end up underwater 9,000 years ago? The legend is deeply rooted in alien interference. As the legend goes, Krishna is said to have founded Dwarka, and according to ancient Hindu texts, the secret city became a battleground for Krishna and the evil King Salva. King Salva attacked Dwarka with a flying machine. Or maybe it was a UFO? It's the description of the battle that draws the attention of the ancient alien theorists, as it seems to suggest it was fought with sophisticated technology and advanced weapons, potentially with a craft attacking from orbit. The spacecraft commenced an attack on the city with the use of energy weapons, which to onlookers resembled lightning. The attack was so devastating that most of the city lay in ruins. Do you think that actual aliens are the reason Dwarka is submerged? It's unlikely, however, the sunken city is sacred to locals. It also doesn't hurt that Dwarka is a scuba diver's dream. Tusua Ocean Trench, Samoa On the island nation of Samoa, located in the South Pacific, there's a natural swimming hole that attracts travelers from all over the world. Yep, the Tusua Ocean Trench is a stunning cool green pool that sinks deep into the earth, 90 feet deep to be exact. Surrounded by white sand and located on top of a lava field in Samoa's Lodafaga village, it was formed during an ancient eruption and is made from two giant holes connected by a lava tube. Set about 30 meters deep, the trench is a volcanic pool filled by the ocean tides. Tasua actually translates to big hole and visitors can only access the hidden pool by hiking along cliff paths and climbing down one single ladder with a small platform at its base. Yeah, it's definitely one of the more magical swimming pools in the world, if not a little unusual. We'd love to take a dip here. The Wave, Arizona This epic landscape was formed over 90 million years ago in the Coyote Buttes Ravine of Arizona. 5,225 feet above sea level, the Wave, as it's most famously known, is made from Navajo sandstone dunes that have stacked both vertically and horizontally over time, creating an undulating formation that resembles the natural curves of giant tidal waves. Yet there's no denying it, the Wave is spectacular. While photographers line up for their chance to shoot this incredible location, only 20 people are allowed to wander the ravine every day to try and protect the integrity of this precious geological wonder. A range of colors can be seen flowing through the wave from red, orange, pink, yellow, and green, making walking through its passage a truly trippy experience that many people find intense and awe-inspiring. Shockingly, nobody even knew about the wave until the 90s when it became really big with European tourists thanks to German travel brochures. Well, this is the second wave, they call it, and it's got a really cool... So, would you ever want to be one of the lucky few who get to witness the wave with their own eyes? Let us know in the comments. <laughs> Meteora, Greece Towering 2,000 feet above the ground, Perched atop ancient rocks that were formed millions of years ago, Meteora is one of the more remote places to worship in the entire world. So there's beautiful places in the world, and then there is Meteora. Located in Greece, these astounding monasteries are famous all over the globe, and today you can visit them via a series of cable cars and stairs that ascend into the clifftops. However, in the past, the monks and nuns who lived in these isolated monasteries would have had to use a system of ladders and baskets to fetch supplies in the village of Kalabaka, thousands of feet below. Meteora, which means suspended in the air, was built in the 14th century. And the reason they're so high up in clifftops is that they believed they would be closer to God. 
This World Heritage Site now consists of six original monasteries which contain ancient relics, holy art, and even skeletons of the former monks which called these amazing skyscrapers their home. Whoa, we're a bit dizzy just looking at the magical meteora. <laughs> Hungahani Rice Terraces, China These breathtaking rice terraces cover over 1 million acres from the slopes of the Ailao Mountains all the way down to the Hong Kong River in Yunnan, China. They're so vast, they spread out over four counties. These stunning plazas of water were built over 1,300 years ago in order to grow rice in an otherwise inhospitable environment, and now they're home to flourishing crops, ducks, eels, and buffalo, all part of a sustainable ecosystem which is managed by the local people. Most amazingly of all, when the sun rises and sets, all the colors of the sky are reflected off the surface of this enormous landscape, creating a phenomenal view that can't be matched anywhere else in the world. No wonder it was added to the UNESCO World Heritage List in 2013. Neuschwanstein Castle, Germany One of Germany's most recognizable tourist attractions is Neuschwanstein Castle, often referred to as the fairy tale castle or even the Disney Castle. It's said that Walt Disney was so inspired by its grandiose architecture that he based Cinderella's castle on the epic building. Yet that castle you see in the logo before every Disney movie is based on this very castle. Its history, however, is far from a fantasy. Back in 1869, King Ludwig II of Bavaria ordered the castle was to be built in three years, setting his men to work all day and all night to finish it. Situated on a mountaintop, this flamboyant castle, designed by theatrical set designer Christian Jank, actually took more than 24 years to finish and the king didn't even live to see it completed. After his death, the castle was opened to the general public as a museum to try and pay for the expenses. And to this day, millions of visitors travel to the stunning castle every year. You may recognize it from the children's film Chitty Chitty Bang as it was used for exterior shots of Baron Bomber's castle. Yet this might just be the most famous castle in the world. <laughs> Luang Prabang Laos Deep in the Laos jungle, there's an enchanting waterfall that flows down a series of pools before flowing back into the river below. This cascading waterfall has carved breathtaking lines into the ancient stone, creating dramatic tiered pools that start off smaller at the top and become wider and wider towards the bottom. It's in these large pools where you can actually swim, taking in the natural beauty of the Quang Si waterfall from every angle, fully immersing yourself in the jungle paradise. Located far off the beaten path, there are some of these magical pools that are considered sacred by the locals and they're forbidden to swim in. And there are even rumors of a totally secret pool that only a handful of travelers have ever found. Yup, this magical place just keeps on surprising us with its hidden beauties. The Dark Hedges, Northern Ireland These spooky twisted trees might look like they're straight out of a gothic horror movie, but they're totally real. Located in Northern Ireland, just a short drive from the world-famous Giant's Causeway, this dark and mysterious road is lined by 90 gnarly beech trees originally planted by the Stewart family in the 18th century, were meant to welcome visitors to their manor, Grace Hill House. Yet yeah, these creepy trees were actually supposed to greet their guests, but unfortunately as they grew they transformed into a seriously sinister tunnel. Bregic Road, where the trees were planted, is now one of the more photographed places in Northern Ireland and the manor house still stands, although it's now a golf course. And if you're thinking that the dark hedges look slightly familiar, well you might have seen them on a silver screen. This eerie location was featured in the hit TV show Game of Thrones where they filmed scenes set on the fictional King's Road. The question is, are you brave enough to head to the dark hedges after sundown for a phenomenal photo? Let us know in the comment section below. <laughs> Las Laja Sanctuary, Colombia Spanning across a gorge on the border between Colombia and Ecuador, this is no ordinary church. Built on a 150-foot precipice above a river, this huge religious monument is surrounded by lush forests and jagged cliffs, not your usual location for a stunning work of architecture. Yup, this peculiar church even came in first place on a list of the world's most beautiful churches by the Telegraph newspaper, and it has an even more outstanding backstory. According to legend, a woman and her daughter were trapped in a severe storm back in 1754, hiding in the gorge to escape the brutal weather. 
they suddenly felt something call out to them, and when they looked up, they found an image of the Virgin Mary on the rock face. The daughter, who was deaf, was miraculously cured of her inability to hear or speak, and ever since then, this magical location has been a religious site of worship. Whether you believe in the healing properties of Las Lajas or not, there's no denying that this is a truly breathtaking building. Paso Island's Sea Caves, United States of America. Welcome to a real-life winter wonderland. Located in the Great Lakes of the USA, these secluded sea caves can be reached by boat in the summer, but as soon as the water freezes over in the winter, you can actually embark on a magical trek to these sparkling temples of ice. Yep, the Apaso Island Sea Caves are described by the National Park Service as a fairyland of needle-like icicles, and we really can't argue with that. This breathtaking natural wonder consists of 22 tiny islands on Lake Superior, and it really feels like being in a fairy tale. Phenomenal ice formations seem to change from day to day, depending on the temperature, so you can return again and again and never see the caves look the same. Just don't forget to pack your thermals when you go exploring the Apostle Islands. Park rangers keep an eye on this frozen paradise to make sure that the ice is safe to cross, and by the time the spring rolls around, the lake has completely thawed out and visitors can only access the caves by boat. Of course, by then, these stone chambers have reverted back to your average cave, with not an icicle in sight. Oh well, there will always be next winter. The Tunnel of Love, Ukraine It may look like something out of a fantasy movie, but the iconic Tunnel of Love actually exists. This mysterious overgrown tunnel covers two miles of train track in the Ukraine, cutting through the outskirts of Kleven. This secluded corridor was slowly formed over time as the train rushed through the forest three times a day. This place is definitely a phenomenon of nature and human work. Snipping away at the upper branches of the tree and creating a natural tunnel. If you want to feel close to nature, then a train ride through this mystical passage is a must. The Tunnel of Love, also known as the Green Mile Tunnel, will have you looking up from your phone and gazing in awe out of the window, and of course the view is best shared with a significant other. Yet this romantic train journey is at its most mind-blowing during the spring and summer seasons when the leaves of the trees are lush and green. These Ukrainian trees might be a totally unexpected tourist attraction, but many couples have boarded this otherwise ordinary train in order to snap some once-in-a-lifetime photos. And according to local legend, if you make a wish in the Tunnel of Love and your love is sincere, then your dreams may actually come true. <laughs> wow, we bet this magical place is crowded on Valentine's Day. <laughs> Grand Prismatic Spring, USA It's the largest hot spring in all of the United States and the third largest in the world after Frying Pan Lake in New Zealand and the Boiling Lake in Dominica. This gigantic hot spring is located in Yellowstone Park, Wyoming, and it's actually one of the more photographed attractions in the national park. And we can see why. At 370 feet in diameter and 160 feet deep, this astonishing hot spring is encircled by rings of bright colors, from red to yellow and green, thanks to a range of microbes that live in the mineral-rich waters. It looks like it belongs on a different planet. At the center of the Technicolor Hot Spring, crystal clear blue water bubbles up from the underground at such high temperatures that the water is actually sterilized. However, you definitely wouldn't want to get too close to this clean water source. Yeah, this is definitely not the kind of spring where you can take a relaxing healing bath. The water at the Grand Prismatic Spring is so scalding hot that it could melt your skin off. Well, they don't call it a hot spring for nothing. Lake Redba, Senegal. If you love the color pink, then we've got the ultimate vacation destination for you. Yet the bright pink waters of Lake Redba, Senegal are a truly awesome sight and bound to brighten up any Instagram feed. This cotton candy colored lake is located northeast from the capital city of Dakar and draws thousands of people to its shores every year. It's mostly inhabited by salt farmers who gather up the valuable mineral from the shocking pink lake. The salt levels can reach up to 40% in this saline-rich lake, and when they reach this high, the water can turn from a bubblegum pink to a dark blood red. It has been pink for some time. Even early explorers made notes of it. Yikes. So how does Lake Redbud take on these kooky colors? Well, it's all down to the microorganism Dunaliela salana that lives in the water and thrives off of the salt in the hot summer sun. We don't know about you, but we've never seen a lake quite like this one. Now, 
time to move on to our next magical place. Huacachina, Peru. Nope, this isn't a mirage. It's the unbelievably beautiful Huacachina in Peru. Also known as the Oasis of America, this clear blue swimming hole is one of the only desert oases in all of the Americas. Located five hours south of the capital of Lima, this extraordinary lake is located at the center of surrounding sand dunes and palm trees and has been a popular tourist attraction since the 1960s. It was believed that this calming oasis had healing properties and rich Peruvians would travel for hundreds of miles to vacation here. There are even bars, restaurants and shops at this remote desert watering hole. The name Huacachina translates to weeping woman and the watering hole is named after the legend of a princess who lost her husband in a great war. It's said that she cried so many tears that a lagoon formed around her and she was transformed into a mermaid. In fact, there's still a statue of a mermaid at the oasis and visitors have claimed that you can actually hear it crying at night. Very spooky. Would you ever take a dip in this potentially haunted desert oasis? Mount Roraima, South America On the border of three different South American countries, this magnificent natural wonder is one of the oldest geological formations in the world. Surrounded by Venezuela, Brazil, and Guyana, Mount Roraima dates back to over 2 billion years ago and is home to some truly stunning views and even more breathtaking wildlife. This floating island plateau has a unique ecosystem with several species that can only be found right here at the top of this unusual mountain. One such species is a carnivorous pitcher plant capable of trapping and digesting insects. This strange but beautiful tabletop mountain is also home to some of the highest waterfalls in the world and sheer cliffs that stand over 1,300 feet tall. Yep, there really is nowhere else like Mount Roraima. These locations are simply awesome. There's so much to explore. So which one of these magical places are you itching to take a trip to? Let us know in the comment section below.